Ah, it w- it'll happen. I don't know about setting. We'll just what go live. Setting? I don't know. We're just going to go live. Right. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, And welcome to Chinwag number 133. Yes. Um, hopefully you can see and hear us okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Let I us know so. if you can hear both of us. I know my voice travels. Yeah. So. And I'm just sitting yeah. to here. Like, I can't get any closer, otherwise I'd be sitting on your lap. Yeah. But you need to kind of use your outdoor voice, uh, maybe. My outdoor maybe, voice. Maybe, maybe. We're not sure. We're I don't not sure. have an outdoor okay. voice. Um, but yeah, welcome to Chinwag number 133. Yeah. Um, this is our weekly chat with mm-hmm. you guys where we talk about our week in terms of eBay and um, just general. And stuff. Just general, really, how it's been. Um, Beck wasn't here last week. I wasn't, no. Well, she was here, but was she, was, here. she was over there. Oh, but I was over like, there. She's over there. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> she was, yeah, back ache, was it? And it was horrible. Yeah, yeah you've only yeah, just started. I suffered with it the whole week. And yes. I just, I couldn't, I just yeah. couldn't, yeah. I was in a foul mood and couldn't do a chat. Yeah. Um, so, we'll go <laughs> and say a few hellos. If you could just let us know um, that everything sounds okay, that would be mm-hmm. fantastic. So, Pleasant Valley was in the chat first. So, <laughs> hi, Pleasant Valley. How are you? Hello. Uh, Stu was in the chat as well. Stu Mandry. Um, I'm the legend Ash. Hi there, Hello. Ash. Thank you for popping in. Peter Ray as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Peter Cummins, Jason Entwistle. Uh, thank you for joining us, guys. Julie Core, M. Julie Core. Yeah, we are both well. Nadine says hi as well. Landshark Picker says hi. Um, hi. Good afternoon, at least over here. How is everyone? Um, thank you for popping in yeah. from over in Los Estados Unidos. Uh, Bargain Buster, Janet Plant, Southwest Sellers says good evening, Bex, and the other one. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing he means Alf by that. Um, <laughs> And Pleasant Valley says, who is that lady? I kind of recognise her. <laughs> and RJ is in with Guten Tag. How are you? Hello. Um, so thank you for joining us, guys. RJ, uh, Georgina Giel, Sammy Fizzy, Claire Thompson, um, Money Mental UK, Andrew. Hi there, guys. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining us. So yeah, this is basically our weekly chat. We talk about our week in terms of eBay and mm-hmm. sales and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get on with it, I suppose. Yeah. yeah? Well, just, you just, can just tell from the title yeah. that we've done quite well. Oh. oh, there you go. You're really quiet, says John. The TV's what, on me? Or no, you? no, no. I think it's probably... It's. I, I think I'm going to have to... I don't know whether the... Let me just double check. Well, it's fine. he's just going to check the sound stuff. Okay, I don't know. I've, I've upped the gain. So <laughs> hopefully that will work if it... Doesn't yeah, it should work. It should work. If but not, okay, let me just. I'm blaming Zahir, right? Because he got yeah. a new PC, um, and now everything's like okay. not how it should be. So yeah. if we are quiet, I'm really, really sorry. How, how about now? How about yeah? Say something now, hon. Say something. I don't like it when you te- you do this. It like puts me on the spot, and I'm like, what am I meant to say? Okay. Well, I've just upped the volume, so. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Uh, let us know if it's still okay. Yeah. If it's and not. if it's gone too loud, tell us. Yeah, let us we know. We don't want it to be yeah. too loud either. Loud now. Loud now. See. Like too loud. Okay, both of you. Both of you are. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it okay? Well, Pleasant Valley is saying it's it, it, it's loud now. Is it now. too loud or is it just loud enough? Okay. Yeah. Is, is we'll, we'll wait. Yeah, we're gonna wait. It's louder. Okay, but is it too loud or is it, is it okay? Too much? Oh, ow, my ears. Ow, my ears, right. Turn too it loud. down. Okay. Now. <laughs> See? Now it's too loud. Too loud, right. Okay. The game. See? Yeah, yeah, I don't... Okay. Look, you've got to look, pay attention to that thing there, right? Because it's going into, like, the yellow. That means we're too loud. No, it doesn't mean we're too loud. It is. It doesn't. God, we've got all these issues, guys. Um, <laughs> we've got all these issues. Device properties. Yeah, okay. How about now? How about now? Just bought a large screen TV. Good Lord, you guys are huge, says Shop Windows. <laughs> okay. It's good, says Parvin. Oh, that's better. Even better. Oh, right. so, 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 okay. Okay. All right. We're going to... We're going to leave it We're going to leave then. it there. Okay. Well, it's close to too loud. Perfect. Okay. Right. Okay. Up a bit, down a bit. All right. Don't play around with it anymore. Yeah, I'm not going to play around that's with it. it anymore. Okay. We're good now. Okay. As long as we're good. Right. Yeah. So... Well, quiet now. See, I, do you know what? It's because we're behind a bit. 
Oh. It's I9 loud. Okay, oh yeah, well, there's a delay. Yeah, there's a delay. All right, we're gonna go up to 80. And we're gonna oh. Okay, so. There we go. Don't play around a bit too much. No. Okay. Okay, right, we are gonna I, try and leave it there. Okay, we're gonna leave it now for a while and you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna talk. Man, this is a terrible stream. <laughs> this is such a terrible I stream. Know. Um, <laughs> it's, no, no, we're not whispering now. We're no, not whispering. No, we're not now. W we're okay. not. Yeah, we'll move okay, the mic now. away. All right. It's fine. We have volume control. I often I mute. mute. That's fine. Okay. Right. Yeah, we're, we're, we you should You might want to mute, mute that bit, actually. Yeah. We're, no, we're going to leave this now. We're going to leave it as it is. Excellent. Okay. All right. Jesus. Okay. What a pain. Okay. Like, we're so bad at uh, this. Anyway, so... so yeah. From what you can see from the channel, it's been a good week for uh, for sales for yes. us this week. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've you know. done we've we've turned over, and as always, um, there is that proviso that it's just turnover. You don't know what we've exactly. paid for the stock, um, things like that. But we have turned over twelve hundred and ninety pounds in seven days, um, which is. Which is really good. Um, mm -hmm. Our profit margins are very healthy on this stuff. Um, you know, it's it, we we tend to buy, uh, you know, pretty well. I think overall, um, yeah. so we've not had any issues. So we're pretty pleased. Um, Twelve hundred and ninety pounds in seven days. So we're, we're pleased with that. It's been quite good. Um, Peter Cummings says, "Be so funny if the stream ended here." <laughs> I don't see how that would be and funny. And Southwest Ellis says, "Do not get this on the BBC." Well, I this know. isn't the BBC, I is know. it? We're, we're not trying to be yeah. the BBC. Yeah, come on. You know, we've, we've got good lighting. Um, Corey's on the other side, says John. Um, now, the interesting thing is the second part of our title is obviously the the two hundred listing store crushed the main store this week like absolutely didn't it i mean um it really did it's a huge difference um we have got about 1600 listings on the rc store mm -hmm. and we've been listing and on it on the rc store we do the web interpret yeah so it's not just like ebay uk no. how parts are kind of we're selling across all ebay sites mm -hmm. yeah so that's a good point we've been listing yep. on the rc store this week as well Mm -hmm. We've been doing all of that kind of stuff. Yep, we have. Um, in fact, the general store has not been, um, we've not been sourcing for. Um, now, depending on where you live, um, we've had some pretty bad weather over the past couple of weekends. Mm -hmm. um, it's been really warm in, um, it's been really warm in like the week, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as Saturday, Sunday comes, what's the forecast? It's just like rain, oh, it's just rain. rain, rain. Oh my goodness, yeah. it's been crazy here, right? It starts off like, I'm, I'm going to do the whole weather thing right now. Okay, so it starts off really nice and dry and clear in the morning. And then it just pours down with rain, like mid-afternoon. Like I was at work today and all of a sudden it just came down and you could just see like the the rain, like it's such heavy rain. It's just crazy. It is. It is it, it's been and, crazy. And, and it's the, like that this weekend. All our car boots have been canned now for tomorrow is going to be the third week yeah. we're not going to have a car boot yeah. and that that's going to hurt our general store yeah. I, I know it's going I to mean, hurt our general could, store we could yeah. make the effort and go um go charity shopping i suppose but the stuff um, we've been selling uh, the margins that we've been getting i think we need the char the car boot stuff really do, um really. you can get stuff in charity shops of course you mm -hmm. can but the kind of stuff we've been selling and we'll share some of the sales yeah. with you um they've been really good for us yeah, on yeah um claire um thompson says um norcross rained off tomorrow yeah there you go yeah, yeah. exactly norcross i mean we were surprised that norcross was rained off uh, w uh, i think the other one uh, billsborough billsborough um, gets rained off weekend. very quickly yeah. and and the yeah. previous weekend as well yeah um overworked beck and she must go through all that rain too as he stays home <laughs> brushing the wig <laughs> oh no no it's not quite like that but okay um yeah. and uh, i think uh, peter cummings his question i know sales are always up and down but do you have a turnover figure that you always like to try and be above mine's 3k but i've only done that two months in three years we we've been aiming for a while to consistently do like a thousand pound turnover over seven mm -hmm. days we've not been doing it recently mm -hmm. um it's not always achievable 
Um, we've had a few, if you look back on our videos, you'll see we tend to put the turnover in the title mm -hmm. anyway. Um, and like, we've had plenty of weeks where we've not hit a thousand turnover. No. Um, but like, bear in mind that this 1290 figure is across both of our stores. Yeah. And this is where it's interesting because like we said, the, the, the store that's performed really well has been the mm -hmm. general store. It's crushed the hobby store. When we show you the breakdown, um, it really is quite impressive what the general store's achieved. But the problem is mm -hmm. the stock we filled the general store with came from car boots when we were going car booting regularly earlier on. But the last three weeks, it's been rained off. And then mm. depending where you live, I mean, I've got to say... This is one of the things with car, car boots. We barely... You used to lose a few weeks down south, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, like a couple. Yeah. Not many. Yeah, we lose a lot more weekends up here than we a do. A lot more weekends, yeah. And it would be interesting to kind of get some numbers on this, but I can't mm -hmm. be bothered to count um, how many weeks we get and we don't. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be our third week in a row that we're not going to yeah. be able to go. Down south, that... I can't remember that ever happening. I can remember there being rained off week, or like one week, and then maybe the next week, but then it would be back on. But over the season, you'd only literally have your car boots rained off maybe a couple of times. Yeah. Um, just because of the way the weather is down there. Up here, we get rained off a lot more regularly. And you've got, to, if you source on uh, from the car boots, you've got to kind of account for that yeah well, you it's got it's got to come into yeah. like um you know consideration when you yeah when you're looking at what you do exactly well we're, yeah. sh we're going to show you some figures um darren says am i the only one who pictured bex in front of a large map of britain then? <laughs> 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 yeah, because I was talking about the weather. About the weather, okay, okay. Um, Peter Cummings says, charity shopping is such a waste of time. I just do it if I'm passing rather than make time to go there. It can yeah. be like that. So we, mm. we normally treat our kind of local ones like that, don't we? Yeah. And then um, when you're, you're dropping me off into work, you haven't done it for a while, but um, you were going go around to a couple of the local ones in yeah. Preston weren't you while you were dropping but we haven't, off yeah. but we haven't done that for a while so um, we could do um, Money Mental says Norcross always seems to be rained off wish it had been rained off that often when I worked there <laughs> it doesn't we actually have found that it's one of the more resilient car boots yeah like Nor up Cross, here like not so Billsborough, much. which is, yeah. is like yeah. it shuts like even if it's been <laughs> Even if it's a bit of drizzle. <laughs> yeah. That's what we find anyway. Pleasant Valley but. says rained off equals more Fortnite. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Southwest Sellers comes in with the fast show reference. Um, Scorcho. <laughs> so you wouldn't know. Blaya Scorcho. It's like, it, honestly, the fast show. Uh, Gary Southwest Sellers, eh, yeah. he will tell you. Beck doesn't remember the fast show. I I. I've like heard of it, but I what about, don't think I. What have about it. this season? I will mostly be wearing Dolce and Gabbana. Mm. No, yeah. this this week I will mostly be eating Bourbon biscuits. No, no. he's like a farmer. He comes out of his shed. No, that, that's the sketch. Don't. You don't remember it? No. I've heard of it though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe you. Smart Fast Show is one of the best TV shows ever created. Mm -hmm. Ever created. Absolutely brilliant. And I appreciate the reference there, Southwest Ellis. Um, right. Um, Jason says, I'm lucky I have a massive death pile and a unit full of un unlisted stock. <laughs> Hashtag lazy. Get well, at times like this, it can come in quite handy. Um, it, you know, to have a death pile. We don't tend to have one now simply because we, we're we much more on top of our, our listing. Um, it just since moving into the office, we're just a bit more, um, what, we're better at it, I suppose, than we were by being in the office. You get mm. more work done. Um, yeah, absolutely. You, I mean, yeah. this week's been slightly different. Actually, yeah, oh, I'll keep talking. Yeah, no, no, go on. Um, this week, um, a couple of nights this week after work I've actually been going into the office I think we only did was it Monday and Tuesday Wednesday I didn't go in in the end did I because I was too tired from work but um and we we'd only put in like an extra hour hour and a half after after I'd finished for the day but it was it was really nice because it like I've been in a rotten mood for like 
forever. Sorry, I'm grinning because I'm reading the fast show comments. Oh, okay. I thought you were like laughing yeah. at me being no, in no, a no. mood. No, no. But I've been in like an awful mood and I found the way I actually got myself out of it this week, well, there's a couple of things. <laughs> um, and one of them was actually going into the office after work because for such a long time, I, I, even though I go into the office on a Tuesday and a Friday when I'm not like covering at work and doing it overtime like today I haven't been in the office at all today because I was doing overtime so um and this happens quite you know it's fairly becoming regularly. quite regular it's becoming really it's, regular yeah. now actually where I'm actually doing more overtime at work and then my days in the office are, are kind of going down so and that frustrates me dis- and disappoints me because I'm like then I don't feel a part of the business and this is what I've been fighting with like um, probably for a few weeks now. You're wanting to feel more um, aware of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's not very much and it's not it's not all the time. Um, so, yeah, I'm not overworked. I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs> um, but for me, I needed to go in, um, you know, more often. Yeah. And so I found my, you know, and it, it would be quite literally like one evening I just went in and there was a pile of clothes that needed sorting and putting away in into like the storage system so i went through and did that because zahir still doesn't like my i i've actually system. i've actually used your system but i filled oh, in I a to... clothes thing and it's formatting's wrong so you have to fix the formatting because it looks different to all the other clothes well, i copied and pasted the title in and but yeah. you can't change that no I don't oh know. my goodness yeah, okay yeah. see this is what yeah. happens when i leave my spreadsheet with him yeah. and he yeah yeah I, she's got some spreadsheet it's so it. it's you know yeah. um but she yeah she sorts so, all her clothes out with this spreadsheet you know, and then, and, and I've, the well not any evening, other clothes that we it was just yeah. like mm-hmm. you know managed to just get a bunch of listing done and it, so, cheered, yeah. and it, it made me feel better it, made, it cheered yeah. me up because you know you're actually doing something yeah. towards the business and it's just yeah yeah. Which you are anyway by working because you're allowing the, allowing the business to breathe, etc. Oh, like that. yeah, but really you don't do. see it like that. But I, I really yeah. I miss the day to day being involved in it, and 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 this is what we we are working on to kind of yeah. bring us both back into it. But it's it takes its time. <laughs> Sorry, the guy. Yeah, um, Bexify has popped into the chat as well. Hi, Bexify. Hello. She says, "I love the Hard Rock Cafe hoodie." Yeah. Um, so let me just scroll down a little bit. Question <laughs> vlog this week, host Peter Ray. Um, probably and not. And Stitch and Bitch. Stitch and Bitch. Maybe. Probably, but I'm going to go back to knitting. I can't stand crocheting. Yeah. It's absolutely driving me crazy. I am going back to knitting. Wow. Money mental. Andrew might need to see, seek urgent medical health. I, th- I think so. I think I'm okay. dying of Ebola. Bloody hell. Yeah, you need to be careful there. Um, you need to be careful. I can't, I can't give you medical advice, obviously. But I've heard it's dangerous. But you should be calling 111. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you think you're dying of Ebola, yeah, and and start with that line. I think I'm dying of Ebola, and I'm sure they'll they'll help you out. Um, all right, let's get to some graphs because we've not done any graphs yet. So let's just yes. share with you guys uh, some graphage. Um, now, what 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 we're going to do is uh, let's just share some graphs. Yeah, we've got to move the camera. Yeah, okay. okay. So, so here is the first graph. So this is the past seven days of sales from our main store. This okay. is our bread and it's butter. It's not main store. Hobby store. It's the, hob- the hobby store. The hobby store. So the hobby store, which has got 1,600 items listed, many with multi-quantity mm-hmm. listings. Now, the thing with the hobby store is you can't force sales on it no um the whole idea of our store is we stock um difficult to find and therefore probably not in high demand rc parts Mm -hmm. and that sounds like a really bad idea actually when you say it like that it it sounds like a terrible idea yeah yeah, let's let's stock a bunch of parts that have got not very high demand (laughs) and and yeah this is how good we are at business and they're like they're they're vintage yeah. parts as well, so they're not mm. like. But there are people that do buy them enough for us to warrant taking the time to list them. Yes. This is a slow time of year. 
Um, it is. If you look at the eBay kind of traffic figures for RC parts, etc., mm -hmm. there will be a dip. But even with the dip, this tends to be around the the kind of bottom end. I, I'm hesitant to say it is the bottom in case it goes worse yeah. next week. Um, <laughs> I don't want it to get worse. No, we don't want it to get worse. But bearing in mind that this is these are sales from you know for work that we've put in yeah. in the past yeah we're still listing rc parts and, now and but is, those will sell in the future this is what we yeah. expect to kind of happen at this time of yeah. year it, this is i'll be honest this is what made me go back into full-time work <laughs> because when we were just relying on the hobby store we can't obviously yeah. have weeks like this we, we um not with yeah. both of us being involved no. in the business no. this I'm operating on one store and yeah. and, and I mean doing when times are good we, the hobby time, store can easily sm do double that you know mm. we, we've had plenty of weeks where we've cleared over a thousand pounds mm. turnover plenty of weeks um, but currently this is the situation sales are down you can see they're massively down 32% mm -hmm. down from a year ago this week um, we are everything is down the transactions are down mm. the selling price is down you name it and is down I just yeah. want to make another point actually yes. because it's something that we we've spoken about this week I think mm. I think we have is it this week or last week I don't know I can't remember our conversations sometimes yeah go on. um but um at this point last year we didn't have the general store so everything was being listed on the hobby store yeah so there is going to be a difference and a bit more of a dip from the hobby store because yeah. we have actually separated the stock because now you know one store is fully like the rc parts and the other store is taking the other stuff that we we kind of but we didn't source much no. in that way anyway no but there is going to be a bit of a difference between the two. Exactly. I mean, um, yeah, I just wanted to quote Peter that says, when will the RC parts well run dry? Not anytime soon because we keep on picking up more. We, we've, we like I said, we've actually, we've added a lot of parts recently. Yeah. Um, over the last couple of, um, Joan said, yay graphs, by the way. Um, <laughs> yes, I love how Z still insists that RC store is the main one, says Andrew. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah it's it's it, the thing is we have like the, we've bought more parts we and we've got sources where we can buy more parts we can get clearance out out of end of line parts regularly we are mm -hmm. currently just working through a backlog and we're getting i say we're getting there but mm -hmm. we've still got quite a few parts to be listed haven't we We've got well, yes. a, a, there's still a lot oh of work my goodness. so so we reckon we're probably going to be above 2000 listings before we need to mm. go and get more we can get more that's not really the issue i think i actually put a picture yeah. of one of the boxes on instagram yeah. this week on tuesday yeah um and i can't remember how many boxes we've got of those i think we've yeah. got is About it four. three or four four packed it's like that yeah. like four boxes yeah. and there's more there's yeah. more, yeah. So, um, and and that's all oh, unlisted. Look, Gary's at the um, feeling sorry for us, and he's um th this dance has been going on now for coming on to two years, um and he's generously <laughs> upped his offer from the original fifty pounds to fifty two fifty. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that, Southwest sellers. Um, we'll carry on the negotiations. You know, he's working and working him up. He's, oh yeah, yeah it's taking yeah. time. He's a it's hard it's, nut to crack. He is yeah, really hard. hard <laughs> nut to crack. Z, I need your laugh as my ringtone makes me smile. So, Gigi, no, oh, thank you, Gigi. That's um, really nice. You'd get tired of it very quickly, I reckon. Um, careful not to get too much slow moving RC to spend value. Yeah. That's the thing. You, you know what, guys? The thing is, we've, like, we just this evening, um, I've had a sale come through where some guys bought two parts for 23 quid. Yeah. We can't force those. We just have to have the, I mean, the range there. We... And when the. Yeah, no go. We run promotions. Yeah. We so do. Um, when people buy more, they yeah, save a bit. Yeah. And I think you do promoted listings on there, don't you? Sometimes. Or not so much. Sometimes it depends because like you most of the, to, most I'm, of the stuff we're the only that. one selling it, and you know. It's yeah. So, so yeah. and so we do like run promotions every so yeah. often, um, but with the parts, it is a case of it's only going to sell when someone's yeah. looking for it so that was the first graph i mean we've doubled your guys graph intake mm. which you know you guys you, would be pretty you, happy about that you know what <laughs> so, <laughs> we we you only used to do one graph yeah now exactly we've got two. two graphs so as you can tell from the title 
And considering we've shown you that the um, hobby store only managed to bring in £485, um, then you can tell that the lion's share of sales came from the general store. It did. General store has crushed it this mm -hmm. week. Absolutely crushed it. Um, we've only got about 200 listings on this store. Yeah, but it's it's th thanks yeah. to the things that you've been picking up on it. Mm. I mean, you've you have been, I don't, I don't wanna, yeah, you know, right. picking some good yeah. stuff. I, I have been, I have been. I mean, I, I, I do want to just say the tr the truth. Um, I put a comment in that I thought was quite funny. Beck does the picking, listing, and lifting. Z does the hair brushing, TV watching, couch surfing, and relationship. <laughs> well, there you go. The truth. You can add picking to that list. <laughs> move it from Beck oh, yeah, over to it, me. Yeah, to so, me. <laughs> so, just way to put that in. Just way to put that yeah. in there. Um, <laughs> Right. Um, let's. Ah, God, hold on. Let, um, okay. Did you show the? Yeah, I just showed the the the, oh. the, the this screen. <laughs> it's just like. Oh. Um, all right, hold on. This let me get. Pain. Let's get the other let's screen back. back. Let's on. get the other screen back. So, so here is the general store. Mm -hmm. General store has just crushed it. Two hundred items, and we have sold sixteen things this week. That's mm -hmm. it. But average selling price of 50 quid yeah i mean if we could do this every week we'd be laughing we know we can't no. and you know we've done 805 pounds on that on this general store mm -hmm. now the the worry is like i said to you as well is this is great but this is stuff that we've had now listed for a week or two mm. weeks that we that we picked up a few weeks back yeah and now we're going to pay because we've not had car boots for the past... It's going to now be three weeks we've not had any car boots. So really, we need mm. to do something because otherwise... All our high ticket items have started to, to otherwise sell. Otherwise, this store yeah. is just going to drop right back Next down week, I think we are going to get a drop because will, we don't yeah. have any really high ticket items left. Mm. We had a bunch of high ticket items. Mm -hmm. They've sold. They've sold pretty quickly. And now we're gonna we're gonna be ending up in a situation mm. where we're we're gonna probably see a dip because of that. Yeah. But eight hundred and five pounds, fifty pound average, it's fantastic. I mean, we're yeah. really really happy with with yeah. the sales, um, like overall. So yeah. Well, I am anyway. Made me smile. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> Right, don't want to um, be up to your bushy eyebrows in stock season, Pleasant Valley. Um, you, oh, Ryan says, you know it's cold when Beck's got the hard run. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's a little bit chilly. Yeah, and the truth says, now Beck is forced to do grafts for Z. Let's start a movement, save Beck from hard labour. <laughs> Um, general store <laughs> equals main store, says Ryan. <laughs> so true. Um, man, that's good for 200 listings. The thing is, though, Pleasant Valley, it, it, it only happened because we had a really good um, selection of items. Yeah. Um, we, we're actually going to go further and share with you um, like uh, the sales that got us there. Um, yeah, so, only a yeah. few of them, like some of the, like the, the nicer sales for the it, week. Exactly. Um Right. What's the general store name again, guys? Says Ben Laddie. It's it, the name of our cats. Well, one of our well, cats is gone, but yeah. yeah. One of our cats is gone. <laughs> Kanaki Kayomi. Yeah, it's Kanaki Kayomi. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, Southwest Seller says, Z, would you like to buy some audio cables? I say some. Um, I say some. Two plastic tubs full picked up from an auction on Monday, says Gary. Um, it depends what they are. Um, they'd have to be very specific, um, Gary. Like the, you know, they'd have to be like specific types of cable from specific manufacturers. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, there's not going to be much value in them. But if they're a box of like QED and Ixus and and like a cord and uh, you know high end brands, then you know I'm sure. But yeah. Um, Right, I can draw a graph. Beck says money mental. Um, to be fair, Andrew, she is a beauty, says Georgina Jill. Oh, what are they talking about? Are they talking about KLC, are they, I'm guessing? Because I think Andrew I think was saying something so. about KLC reselling Louise. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know. Um, lies, Peter, I only fancy myself. There we go. <laughs> um, right, so that was the situation with ourselves. Now, mm -hmm. what, we, what we also thought we'd do is we'd share... Mm. what we sold on that general store because yeah. it's been pretty good hasn't it it's mm -hmm. been pretty good it's been pretty good um so we'll get our um we'll get those items up um and we'll go through them how's that sound yeah okay all right first item 
Do you want to talk about this? Is a drum. <laughs> it's a drum. <laughs> It's it's quite a large drum. It's a very big drum. It, it is. It's so I am big so that so glad this is gone. You should see the size of the box. <laughs> but it's going, in. Yeah. isn't it? I'm so glad as well. Um, I don't often... Have you bought it at home? No, not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. Still at the Th- this has actually got to come home because it's... It's been collected. so big. Okay. It actually has to be collected. And um, at the office thing, when we get things delivered to the office, they always end up somewhere else. <laughs> So collection is going to be even worse, and we don't want to have keep having failed collections. So yeah. what you do normally is bring it here, and it's only on the like the larger items, and then we get yeah. it sent off. So this has got to come home, which, I'm which not is a happy pain. About, it's a huge box, absolutely um, huge box. Yeah. So, but you picked this drum. We picked the setup. Setup for fifty for quid. Fifty quid, didn't you? Yeah. Um, we sold symbols. I think Jason yeah. was it. North Jason Crossing was there. Yeah, actually, time, Jason. Actually. Jason might remember. Actually, yeah, J- um, he was there. But when, this is yeah. one of the drums from that from that set. We made. We paid fifty pounds. Mm-hmm. It was five drums and three cymbals. Mm-hmm. The cymbal. No, sorry, four cymbals because it was a hi hat, the top and bottom. We sold the cymbals. Um, And that put us well in profit Mm -hmm. on the £50. Symbols are worth good money. They were by Paste, which is Mm -hmm. like a German manufacturer. And then we sold the snare drum for £50 as well. Um, We sold the hardware at auction. That was only like a tenner though, wasn't it? Um, Mm. And they collected it from the office. Yeah. Um, So yeah, we're pretty pleased to see this go because this was the Mm -hmm. biggest drum um, 22 inches by 18 yeah. inches. Huge. I think we accepted yeah. an offer on this. Though, we did, we? yeah. It I was think on it went for 80. 80, 80 plus 80 shipping, yeah. So I'm pretty pleased. Mm. Yeah. I was happy to take 80 because at the end of the day, yeah. we, we had it up at 129. Yeah. It had I been mean, it hanging was, around. It was on sale. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then if someone puts in an offer and we find it quite reasonable, we're like, yeah, yeah go for it. It's quite difficult to photograph because, oh, I think I must have sent it with those towels in. <sighs> Well, I thought they must be like specific you shouldn't have done that. drum towels, maybe. I don't know. I know people, yeah. like, I know when we researched it, there were yeah. a lot of people that put like towels and stuff like that in them. Yeah. But you shouldn't have sent it with them. Yeah. So. <laughs> now he's just thinking he's got your dirty washing. Yeah, exactly. He might, he just got, I hope there were no wire fronts in there or something. I think it was just towels. Oh, man. Um, I can't believe I trust you. Those just towels. Stuff. Those just towels. I don't care. Um, no, but they must be there for acoustic reasons. <laughs> It must be there. South of the says, can play EastEnders theme tune. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Is he banging his drums out? Yeah. Who yeah. sells the whole drum kit for £50? Great deal. Well, Pleasant Valley, it was actually... Um, it's um, yeah, it's it, like a house clearance guy, it, isn't it? Yeah, it was, he's actually a house clearance guy that's regularly at the car yeah. boot. He just wanted rid of it. He yeah. knew he could probably sell more. Yeah, he knew. Yeah. He knew what he had. He knew it, he could sell, sell exactly. it for more, but he just... He, he didn't want to deal with it and he wanted yeah. to sell the whole set because yeah. initially when you went there you just wanted the symbols didn't you yeah um, um, yeah Jason says yeah I remember you telling me that you bought the drum set and you were questioning why it turned out a good buy <laughs> I th- at the time we were questioning it because we pretty much filled our car up with a drum set, a drum set. so we didn't really have much room to <laughs> yeah, go and we, sh- we went yeah. home shortly after yeah that. we didn't really have much room to put anything in it we're after like, well, we've yeah, that- my, no, any more space exactly so. exactly yeah. um, and Ryan said uh, Gary Suffer says which RC car does that go with and Ryan says <laughs> drum towels lol if you didn't send them I bet they open a case missing towels yeah, yeah, is that a don't. pet bed in the drum I don't know right? <laughs> oh yes the famous drum towels <laughs> all the top panties <laughs> yes Darren yes the <laughs> drum towels for sweat says da- oh gross um, <laughs> I'll give you two quid for the towels the towels are gone Andrew you, can't, you, can't you sicko you sicko why would you even want them? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Stu Mandry says, ka six pound sale. Ownership of the Audi R8 has just got 1.001% nearer. Um, okay. Bexify's up the bids to 250 though, Andrew. <laughs> okay. All right, let's should we should we share the next item? Yeah, now, is it? This is it, a good does item. It have any towels? No, there's no towels in the next item, guys. But this is something <laughs> that I really do think um, is is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favourite sales. Um, it, really good sale. Yeah. We all know about the Olympus Mu Two camera, mm-hmm. but the key is, and there's a few others like the Yashica T4. Um, but you, now you guys can add this camera to your Bolo lookout list. Very unassuming camera. But more importantly, 
it's worth learning why certain compact cameras are valuable and mm -hmm. to spot them. So it doesn't really matter like massively about the, you know, so you don't worry about like, oh, is this the right one or is this the wrong one? If you see a compact film camera at a car boot cell, which doesn't have a zoom. So if it doesn't have a zoom, that's a good thing. Okay. Well, in, in, in what, in what we're looking for. Firstly, you want to find a compact film camera, which doesn't have a zoom. Now the key is what the um, lenses F number is basically the lower the F number the more money you're going to get. The reason why people pay nearly 200 odd pounds for the Olympus Mu2 camera is because the lens, it's a fixed lens with a very wide aperture. I think it goes down to like F 2.8 I think it goes down to I, I'm not sure but I think I it goes, this yeah. is all you. I it goes down to f2.8 and that means you can get bokeh or something and and basically it, it the lower you have the f number when you take a photo um, you can get that that effect where the foreground and background are separated more blatantly. I think that's the idea. I mean, I could be talking complete BS, but this is what I think, and it seems to work. And uh, the same thing worked with this. This is a Konica A4, 35mm camera, the big mini, and it's got an f3.5. Now, these normally go down in steps of, like, I don't know, whatever. It's a mathematical equation that I can't understand. Um, but, yeah, they go down in steps. So, you, you drop them down in steps. So, f3.5 is quite low, not massively low, but I only paid two pounds for this camera. We had it up at 120. It was on 20% off sale, 95.99, and it's going to Australia. There you go. So Konica lens f3.5. So you, you want to look for a low F number, very unassuming camera, paid two quid for it. Jobs are good and, and it sold very quickly as well. Mm -hmm. uh, 95 99. I could have probably gotten 120 if I'd waited, but we like on the general store, we really do like to turn things over. Yeah, we're very, mm. um, very uh, conscious of the fact that we, we want to kind of like flip items quickly. Yeah, exactly. We, we, because even though this is the funny thing. Even though the general store only has 200 items, it is taking up physically mm -hmm. more space than our hobby store with 1600 items. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to bear that in mind. Space is very valuable. It, um, it, you can't ignore how much space an item takes. The more space an item takes, the more profit it's got to make you. The, the you know It's got to be, mm -hmm. it's got to earn its spot. There's a reason why Amazon FBA charge you storage fees. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a reason for all of this. Um, and I feel that you've got to bear that in mind when you're selling stuff. So on the general store, it take only 200 items, but they take up physically more space, don't they? Mm -hmm. All of our um, RC parts are just in a few crates. Pretty much, really. Yeah. Exactly. Um, right. Um, let's see what the chat is saying about that. Um, got uh, got to go takeaway here, says Georgina. Thanks for the last. No worries, yeah, Georgina. Hope you have a good us. evening. Any towels in that camera? Asked <laughs> one million pound for the towels. Oh, we <laughs> missed it. Oh god. Um, no, there were no curlies in there, as far as I know. Um, so there we go. Um, Darren, I bet you use this camera for towel photos. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Wider aperture, shorter the depth of field, allowing bokeh shots, says Stu Mandry. There you go, exactly. Yeah. I, I was right then, Stu, right? I just didn't feel confident speaking about it because, you know, like, yeah, yeah, take it, take it, take it. Um, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, new UK channel um, to go and check out BCP uh, Bano and Vlogs are a UK couple who do vlogs and reselling vids. Oh, okay, cool. Um, nope, he already said it doesn't zoom right. <laughs> <Says that. laughs> Time for Z Tech Talk. Uh, man like you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ryan and Darren are having it. Okay, <laughs> why has it taken three years to turn over that Intel Plus lol? Or are you keeping? It's not listed. It's not listed. It's not listed. I'm yeah. gonna keep. Yeah. So here's what it's she won't it. let me sell him. Yeah, or... and then you you try to give it to Alf. Yeah, I tried to I give it to like, Alf no, as a can't, pet. Alf can't yeah. have it. Yeah, because it's got like little. Um, yeah. You know, it's not like stuffing. It's yeah. those little ball things. Yeah. 
um, polystyrene yeah. type thing. Yeah. Z, how do you test cameras without film? You can just put in the listing that the camera has been battery tested if you can't film test it. Um, but normally you can just tell when you ha um, listen to the mechanism when you um, you can obviously test the flash take uh, uh, you, you know use the shutter um, and if you can hear it winding and it sounds like there's mm -hmm. nothing clicking or you know broken you, you can tell really um, I take up a lot of space after I've had a KFC bargain bucket says money <laughs> metal um, right uh, you're paying rent for some space. Do you think you should have gotten something bigger? Says Thailand Heron. Um, not really. Mm. Um, we're quite happy with the space we've got currently. Um, I think this has been talked about in reselling before. People fill out whatever space they get. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, no, I'm quite happy with the size of it. Yeah, I think it's just, you're going to fill out whatever space you get. So it's yeah. just, a, it, no matter what your space is, I mean, Tesco have really big stores, but they still clear stuff out when it's not selling and mm. taking up space on their shelves. It's just, we're trying to be a bit more yeah. ruthless with the stock. We're not giving it forever anymore. And also um, with, We have a store where we give it forever. Yeah, I was, yeah. and also with the office, um, we've, we've only done the space for a year yeah we've only, we're only contracted for a year um because we wasn't we wasn't sure how it was gonna go for us yeah um whether we'd like to be in an office or whether at the end of the year we're going to want to be in a different place altogether so, exactly um so yeah I, at the moment i think the size of of where we've got at the moment is, is perfectly fine yeah um, ah, the big mini. That's a bolo from a few years back. Okay, Peter, come. Um, that was Peter said. Um, the plush must be amazed to meet the i nine when that thing left the factory. They were in Pentiums, weren't they? Yes, it's um, it's a Intel inside Pentium two bunny man. I paid. I remember making a video about this. I was so excited to have found it for ten p. And I remember trying to sell it for ten pounds for ages, yeah. and it didn't sell. Um, and I've just ended up having it. This was amongst my first reselling purchases, so mm -hmm. now we keep him. You know, yeah. yeah. Now you can look at the i9, He's like jealous. Yeah, <laughs> quite possibly. Just Pentium two, <laughs> Pentium two. Right, are we gonna go back and Loser. share our next few cells? Sit, sit cause... on my i9 now. Sit on my i9. Sit on those eight cores and sixteen threads. Sorry, I'm so excited. Um, right, um, single core, poor guy. <laughs> All right, um, let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, now, th uh. this is a really nice sale, guys. Um, this was also a cherished a car boot pickup. Oh, yeah. And it's a massive bundle of Mega Blocks Halo. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't. I couldn't go through and try to build it. I, I paid four pounds for this at the car boot and I did price it quite high. The prices of these bundles were quite... All over the place. Yeah, they were. You know, like, I think any bundle, you're going to find mm -hmm. big variations. So I took as good a photo as I could. Not the best, because you can see there's a bit of table showing there. Yeah, you could have built it, man. No, I could have building it. What's the point of building it? Anyway, look, look at these photos. I figured out what that was. That was some kind of a tank. Um... No, no, like the name of it. I figured it out. When I say that, I figured it out, like, the name of it, you know? Yeah. Like the proper name, so people could know what they're searching <laughs> for. Good. So I figured out the name of it. I counted how many little men it had, little Spartans yeah. and um, Spartans and, and Grunts and whatever else. I used yeah. to love Halo 3, I, but I don't know anything about Mega Blocks, Halo, really. Um, yeah, I counted, I took as many photos of the bundle as I could. Some of these are going to be quite valuable, but I couldn't really see myself sitting there photographing them to sell them for like a fiver each. There would be the odd one that would be worth more. There's, they had their little weapons. Look at He's got the heavy sniper, mm -hmm. um, like plasma cannons, needlers, and all that stuff. Oh, he's got the sword or something. I don't know. Look, these are all Halo, little Halo things. So we paid four pounds. Mm-hmm. It was up at 129.99. We had a sale on 20% down to 103. We got an offer for 80 or 82. It was 82. Yeah. And basically I think it was yeah, around 80. Plus the plus the shipping. 
and we were happy to let it go mm. from from four pounds that is a good little sell yeah. so that's definitely worth keeping an eye out for bundles I think it was 82 we got yeah for four actually it was it was so that was pretty nice sale um four pounds for all of it yeah we just picked it up quickly bunny man legendary legendary <laughs> unsaleable item says pleasant valley <laughs> tyler and Aaron says excellent sale how did you come to price of the mega blocks bundle well mm. It, there was quite a variation, Ryan, and I think I just I, I I looked at the price of the tank. I think it was yeah. It, the, the the key for me was actually the tank. Yeah. Um, let me just show you the title. You can see in the title I put in that it's the Rhino tank um, and the the UNSC Firebase. I looked at the prices of those, and I think people had achieved about thirty to fifty odd pounds for the Rhino tank. So oh, I knew okay, there was so value in that. that. And then I looked at prices of people selling. There was lots of people selling just some figures, mm. and we had over sixty figures. Um, I looked at the price of the Firebase. Um, again, mm. that had some value, but I didn't know whether the Firebase was complete or not. So I mentioned all of that. Yeah. Um, so uh, taking all of those little separate pieces together, we put it together and came up with 129. And when I saw that we were getting watches, I knew mm. that we were in we the were right, the yeah. right price. Exactly. Oh. So I just got rid of it that way. Um, wow, that's like a Nick Hill sale, says <laughs> Pleasant Valley. It's a nice little bundle of toys, definitely. Um, Excellent sales in Tyler Heron, four pound nice as Darren, yep. Tanky thing, little men with shooty bang bangs as <laughs> she. Um, I would hate sorting through it, says Andrew Monumental, and Bex if I says great fine, thank you guys. Yeah, it was a nice little sale, we were pretty yeah. pleased with that. Um, so that was, we're down to our last two sales now, mm. last two sales. Um, next item, Bex, you uh, got to go, you want to talk about this because you, you like to talk about this, this maybe. This is a Ted Baker wallsuit it is um you picked this up at a charity shop yeah this is a charity shop find we paid but three pounds three pounds for yeah. this um and it's been listed for a little bit of time not too it? long not under too a month th about a month yeah. max yeah yeah under a month i'd say um and i can't remember what we Paid three pounds. No, we paid yeah. three pounds, but I can't remember what it sold for. Um, oh, because I don't think we. Yeah, no, that wasn't the price we got. We was put, it? We put it up at 50? fifty. Fifty. We paid 50. eighty. But oh, no, sorry, we paid for three. Yeah. We were selling it for eighty. It was on sale at sixty-four. We took fifty. Yeah. Because it was we paid three quid, so three to fifty quid plus shipping. We've already had positive feedback for it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with the photos. Yeah, I struggle that wasn't a little. Bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was. It does look a little bit wrinkly, yeah. but it's a wool suit, so I don't know. Yeah, but you've look, got the... in Ted we trust. Look, it says yeah, in Ted we trust. You've got the steamer. I did work. steam it. Look, look, I, look, I took photos of the the pockets with the money sign, yeah. and so because uh, I thought it was quite quirky. Yeah, quite the three nice. buttons, it's got Ted Baker on the buttons yeah. there. Like I tried to take some good. You know, look at that Ted Baker well, endurance. Taken some really good photos. Yeah, mm. I took some good photos. I mean, you're such a hater, man. Some no, hating. Not at all. Yeah, so fifty pounds. I'm pretty pleased. Um, Z equals keyword researcher. Bexify says nice. Yeah, so I, I thought that was quite a nice sell. Oh, um, not Z's old suit. Cannot see the takeaway food stains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's not my suit. Um, no, yeah, it was no. it was a nice little one. So, you have been replaced, Bex. How does it feel? <laughs> I'm good at the clothes now. Yeah, no, you are. You are yeah, good. I'm at good. Clothes, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. yeah, you need to kind of, yeah, you know, what? present them in a really good way. Don't you though. think I presented it well? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It was a suit. Wasn't I suppose too bad. It was, it Is that was, the best compliment hard. I can get from you? Well, I suppose it wasn't it was hard too bad. To, no, but it's hard to kind of. So it was bad, but it wasn't too bad. No, I think you did. You did the best you could. <laughs> That's even more than like you. You did the best you could, darling. Yeah, okay. I'll take. I'll just have to accept that. You know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna stop talking. No, no, because you told I'm me. Just I, I, clearly, I just that was, that was the best yeah. I could do, really. You know. <laughs> Whatever. No, but it was a really good item. Though. Thank you. It was. Yeah. It was a good item. Yeah, I, I will work on my presentation. Yeah. I will work on the presentation as we go you forward. You need to work on your presentation. Yes. Your clothes. I will do. Um, Pleasant Valley says I have a copy of David Bowie's first album listed yesterday. Ten watches so far. Rare Canadian stereo pressing. Hoping for decent bids. Wow, PVP. Hope that goes well for you. Um, great chat as always. He says Peter Ray got to go. No worries, Peter. Thanks for popping in. Um, you done the best you could. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Beck giving the advice. Wow, nice comeback, Bex. Patsy, you did your best. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I did, I did, I'm sorry. No, I did my best. <laughs> Hashtag patronizing. Yeah, I, I did my I'm best. Sorry. No, I did my best. You're right, honey. I did my best. I did. That was. <laughs> she, sorry, it was not just standards. Um, certainly improved <laughs> since the days of your beauty. <laughs> you know what? You can't. Sp- sometimes the, the, I spotted the the offending. Cur- short and curly before stripping it out. Give me some credit for that at least, right? At least the guy. It didn't... shouldn't have been in the photo in the first place. What if he bought it because it was there and then he's received it? Well, and then he was and disappointed. Was like, yeah. and he was like, oh. oh. <laughs> but maybe open it, went straight for the key. Where's that key that had the short and curly in it? Oh, it's the... you know, now what? Huh? Now who's. Exactly. Okay. Now. It's just not right, is it? Um, <laughs> okay. Lay him down gentle, says Ryan. It's the taking part of the cow seat. Oh, thanks, Darren. Thanks. Appreciate that. It's the taking part of the cow seat. Oh, Darren, you can always count on Darren, can't you, for the, for the, for the little at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Ryan says, I'm on the sofa tonight. <laughs> Money Mental Andrew says he's auditioning for his part on Seller Ladies with his clothing sales. <laughs> I had no view. Yeah. Um, Paul and Lou M. Palacel says, seen those Ted Baker endurance suits in charity shops before. Never pick them up, usually in blue. I will next time. Maybe that beige colour helped sell it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was also yeah. colour. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think with suits, again, I noticed that there's a big variation for the yeah. same items. It can sometimes just come down to how patient you're being or how good your listing is, I suppose, because some, we saw we saw the same Ted Baker suit sell for a lot less, mm-hmm. but we just thought it's a wool suit. Like, even a crusty wool suit. It's a Ted Baker wool suit. Mm-hmm. It's worth more than... I think we saw one sell at auction for something stupid, like 18 quid or mm-hmm. something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, you will see very yeah. low... Um, you know, big variations in price on on these things. And I think you just have to kind of um, like be confident in your pricing mm. and your listing, and just you know, like make it as attractive as possible. I mean, I did my best, guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm so no, sorry. it's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean it. To I know sound you didn't. Like I know you didn't, really honey. Didn't. And I'm just, I'm just ripping you. <laughs> Question, did you check the pocket Z? God knows what was in there. <laughs> yes, Ryan, I've been checking pockets. Yeah, and I yeah. check them as well. When when yeah. I'm actually packing them away, packing the them bags. away okay. um, and putting them in the plastic yeah. bags, I'm checking the pockets yeah. as well. So anything that's got pockets, I am checking yeah. as well. You better watch Beck. He'll be purposely <laughs> adding them. I know, right? <laughs> okay, let's... <laughs> right, final, final set out, shall we? Should we go it wasn't... They were, it, by the way, guys, it wasn't mine. I just want to clarify it. It wasn't like... You keep saying that. It wasn't. What, what, what do you think I'm doing? You know what I mean? I think my bow has escaped. Wow. In the, is, is it because of this stream? I hope not. Andrew, if it is, we apologise. Stop watching now, Andrew. <laughs> I hope it wasn't. It's just... Right, should we share okay. the last item? Let, let's go on to the last item, yeah. Let's go on to the last item, guys. Um, this one I am I am pretty pleased with. Um, I think mm. I did my best with this one as well. Um, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this guys is an Iowa XRM98 CD radio cassette mini disc compact stereo system. Um, now we paid fifteen pounds for this stereo, mm-hmm. and um, I actually made a video about it. We paid fifteen pounds at a car boot, um, and it was covered in um, tar. It was owned by a smoker. It was covered mm-hmm. in tar. It was. It looked. It, do you yeah. know what? When when I saw this, I thought it. it you it, thought it was a bad buy. No, no, I actually thought it was meant to be that car. Oh, she thought it was meant to be because sh- it looked champagne gold. <laughs> it, did. it did. It didn't look like. And then when you yeah. started cleaning it, I was like, oh, that's <laughs> a real car. It looks even better now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, if you haven't seen it, I put a video out on the channel. Um, a couple of weeks ago, it's only a short video. Go and check it out. You can see how gross this thing was. This thing was absolutely 
covered in tar. Yeah. And、um, it took a number of baby wipes to clean it up. Yeah.、Um, and get down to its original silver color.、Mm-hmm. And there's the top deck is the mini disc, then you've got the cassette. CD tuner and amplifier, and then there's the speakers. I took photos of it in different configurations、mm. as well. So I took photos of it, close up shots, nice clean photos,、mm-hmm. cropped them out, just showed what what it looks like. Took photo in the dark.、Uh, that was a poor photo, but the idea of this photo was, was to show, to show the, the, lights. the blue lights.、Yeah. So a little bit of work required. You can see at the yellow, it's still, it's still there at the, the back. back. It it wouldn't wipe off. You can see the the marks. It's pretty、mm-hmm. grimy still at the back.、Um, now again, this item actually had a big variation in prices.、Mm-hmm. Again, there were some people selling these stereos for about fifty quid. We paid fifteen、mm-hmm. because it had mini disc. We thought we'd go high because there were a couple of people, but the majority of people were selling this for well under a hundred pounds,、mm-hmm. like you know more more around the fifty to eighty、mm-hmm. odd pound mark.、Um, but we were like, it's mini disc, it's in good condition considering it does have the remote control, which I forgot to actually add in the photos. I think that was a mistake of mine. I'm pretty sure.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I didn't add the, the add that, but I did mention that it has got remote control. I'm pretty sure.、Um, but yeah, decent photos. We actually sold this for.、Uh, I think we sold it for asking. Mm, I think it was slightly under. Le- or was、actually. it less? It, I think no. I think we took an offer.、Mm. Yeah. No. I think we got an offer for a hundred and forty, but because it had fifty pound shipping on it,、yeah. because we sent we sent it to Spain. Yeah. Um. So fifty pound shipping and it went to Spain. Mm-hmm. Um. Because it, it and it only cost us like twenty odd something to ship, so we made some money on the shipping. Um. Which is nice. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Um, so yeah, that was a really nice um, item. Um, it was just really good sale, really.、Um, oh gosh, I've done the thing again. Well, I've gone、yeah. back to the wrong screen. Okay, okay.、Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it was a really decent sale, and and it just、mm-hmm. it, it sold them、um, for good money.、Um, oh, is that the nicotine same one? Yes, Claire, it was.、Yeah. Um, there's no RC parts. No, we're not showing、yeah. RC parts. Claire says you did a brilliant job cleaning it. Thank you.、Um, spot the view on that stereo is beautiful. There wasn't. There wasn't.、Um, was it better than the XRM ninety seven? Um, I'm not sure, Gary.、Um, yeah. That's the worst. Says、uh, deal. Says holy. Yeah.、Um, yeah. It was the tobacco stereo. It was, it was good clean.、Um, champagne suit. Now a champagne stereo. <laughs> What's going on to the Palazel? And Pixie Dust Gaming. PDG says, "Oh my God, long time no see. How are you both? We're fine. We're both doing well. Thank you for popping in again. Yeah, good to see you.、Well、yeah,、too. I hope you're doing well." Um, got a charge extra for the stains, right? Says Ryan. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good buy for fifteen pounds.、Um, had a light cleaning may include pubes. <laughs> not all of our, not all of our <laughs> listings doing. You know, maybe we should add it as an optional extra or something. Um, question: Do you feel bad making money on shipping? I charge for my time with massive things like that. Says Ryan. No, I don't feel bad at all because there's a massive risk involved、mm-hmm. because we're shipping it out. If it gets damaged or something like that, or if he wants to return it, it's gonna cost money. And when you're shipping internationally, you've got to make sure you're covered because you know he might not. Um, like cause us any issues, but we might get issues from other international sales. So it's like an overall thing, and I think it's a fair price to be honest with、mm. you. It was a heavy unit, it's a heavy、yeah. item, it's a big box, and the time it takes、yeah. to kind of yeah, and he'll get it nice and quick, and yeah, we don't get any complaint about our international shipping because、no. had that gone by GSP, God knows how much it would have been. So yeah, I was pretty pretty pleased with that to be honest with you.、Um, how much? Oh, okay.、Um, Right, and and plus, yeah, the time and effort that goes into shipping it, you got to bear that in mind. Um, I had to bubble wrap and make sure that each component was safe,、mm-hmm. make sure that it's suspended in the box. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be worth it. Um, massive profit, man. Well done, good work. Grant Lee Basham says, "Naughty boysy." I don't think so. I think that's completely fair. The price is in front of the buyer. If the buyer thinks it's reasonable, they'll pay for it. If they don't, they can question it or don't buy the item. Fifty、mm-hmm. um, pound shipping for a stereo to Spain. 
I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, it depends on the weight of things. Things can weigh and uh, the dimensions of things as well. Um, GSP will be 120, says Ryan. Exactly. GSP would have been more ridiculous. Um, Pixie Dust Gaming says, yes, I'm fine, thanks. Um, been away, been ben bedridden with a bug. Been okay past two days. Oh, it's good no. to hear you getting better. It's not nice to be no, bedridden. Um, lick the like button. Friday night is comedy night, says Gary. Um, <laughs> glad you think so. Um, charge for shipping a pain to pack yeah packing um, the stereo stuff is a pain yeah and, and it can cost money guys like if you want to ship things properly I, you know you have to you know yeah um, you, it be lost says Dave now we've not had any issues with sending stuff to Spain have we we've had no yeah touch wood no issues not really. I'm pretty sure that this has been delivered anyway so I don't think it's an issue I think it's already done um so I think that was the last of the sales we wanted to share with you guys. So that's what's made the second store mega, like you know, profitable for us this week. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it's uh, it's it's good stuff, really. Um. How long have we been streaming for now? I don't know. Mm, uh. Well, we started late, so we're pretty much hitting the hour. I oh, we're hitting the hour. Oh, yeah. We've been live for an hour. There you go. Live yeah. one hour. We've been live for exactly an hour. We just finished that. That is professional. Mm, not so sure about no? the professional okay. part, but we'll go. Yeah. I think oh, that's pretty professional. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions in the chat before we go then? Um, South Wales says, need some coffee bean talk, Ryan. <laughs> Zahir, how is your eBay going for you both? Had any great finds? Yes, Pixie Dust, we've just shared a few really nice sales. Yeah. Um, like, General Store did about yeah. £800 pounds this week. Hobby Store didn't do so well, but £1,290 pounds turnover in seven week. days. So, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Baby Stream, give us two hours, Bex. <laughs> Um, Pleasant Valley says um, not cheap to ship and Peter says what's the secret graph that keeps popping up and um, what that is is we uh, keep so on sharing our live this page is, this is yeah. our live page this is so how this we is read what, the chat this is yeah. what we see when we're streaming when we're streaming yeah this is like YouTube studio yeah. so like this is what we see when um, so you, we can see like a little feed of the stream mm -hmm. um, we can see the chat here and there's like a little graph here and whatever yeah um, but yeah, that's and then that's on this page yeah. we've got like the control bit. Yeah, of we it, have two so screens because you know. So that that yeah. side is the controls that we do. So. Yeah, um, I had a hundred and fifty pound sale that got damaged, gutted, had to refund. Says Pete Cummins, that is horrible, Peter. And Money Mental Andrew's got a question. What's been your best RC sale of the last seven days? Probably Ooh. the one this evening. <laughs> no, we, we let, 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 let's go and quickly show an RC oh, okay. sale. Why not? Let me just um. Just What's the one, the though. Oh, I've got to pick. There's been some nice ones come through, you know. Which ones? I don't know. I'm going to have a look. Don't pressure me. Oh, you're so trying to pressure me, man. Seriously. There, there, there are some sales. Um, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah. seriously? Yeah, I'm going to pick out a good sale. Let's have a no, look. You better watch it. <laughs> I better watch it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look <laughs> at what we have sold on the old hobby store over the past seven days. Hmm, what would I say has been mm -hmm. a good sale? What, do you want, like, a high sale or, like... No, this was quite nice. So I'm pretty pleased that we're still getting rid of these. Oh, yeah, yeah this, this is... is, this is yeah. Yeah. I would say my favourite of the week has to be the uh, Thunder Tiger PD-1893 steel main gear. It's got 46 teeth. Um, so, you know, pretty nice amount of teeth for that spur gear. It's a metal, you know, steel spur gear, so it shouldn't get damaged very easily. And it's for the EB4S3 Nitro Buggy, mm -hmm. which is like a race standard Nitro Buggy um, from Thunder Tiger. Um, we've, we haven't sold many. I'm glad there's only the second one that sold. We've still got seven left. Had these for ages, absolutely ages. So it was really nice to actually sell one for 20 pounds so maybe it's the price yes it probably is the price but you know why not charge you know what I mean maybe like, we're like maybe we're the only ones that's got them pushing it maybe we're the only ones that have got them so yeah, and, we're, and we're doing offers if he buys three you can get them for 16.99 if you buy four you get 15.99 it's a bargain yeah. it's a bargain so yeah that that'll probably be my favorite um mm -hmm. rc sale there 46 teeth savage says dave mm -hmm. and Stu says four <laughs> Um, you still into your Fortnite and coffee? Yes, very much so. Um, I actually got a 10 bomb in Fortnite the other night and a victory royale 
on live on my stream as well PDG it was um yeah it was really good actually um mm -hmm. you know, now I've got a bit of an upgrade it's going well um Z sleeping with Alf to nice Pleasant Valley um wow 46 teeth I need one yes steal main gear for EB4 now we're talking um Ninja is with PewDiePie thoughts mm -hmm. um yeah I don't know um it would probably be quite funny because they're both quite funny people um 20 pounds unreal no proof though so it don't count <laughs> there, there is proof there is a stream um you can watch the back the stream um i think that the stream is kept for two weeks on twitch so yeah, i stream on is twitch it? yeah pdg if you still want to catch the stream um if you search for only cool stuff i'm on twitch now yeah i'm just a bit of promotion there for promotion yeah guys in case you didn't know i actually stream fortnite on twitch if you want to go over and support the stream you know watch me I, i'm i'm a pretty pretty bad player actually yeah you yeah are. i'm pretty bad player, but i get some wins and peter Cummings says i saw it i'll be your witness thank yeah. you peter <laughs> southerners unite <laughs> thanks peter um 400p stream don't count does it and Peter's, although I think it was Bex, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take that back Aww. then. All right. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. We really appreciate yeah, we the do. company. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely Friday evening. Mm -hmm. We're going to be chilling out. I'm going to be streaming Fortnite only cool stuff on Twitch. Twitch.com slash only cool stuff. Do you want to put a link in? I could put the link in, actually. Yeah. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Thanks for me. I think you didn't mean that, did you? <laughs> No, you didn't. You thought I was, you thought you were being clever. But that's a no. good idea. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, let me find my channel. Yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, if if you go if you if you go in here, there's um. You can follow me on Twitch. There's the link. Um, <laughs> make sure you follow the um, the stream. <laughs> Anything you would like to promote, Bex says. Oh, everyone's going now. No, I'm good. <laughs> No one's going to do it. <laughs> Wait, we will see you next time. <laughs> Path to affiliate. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, thanks man. for watching. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>